Hi everybody, it's Coach Velia. It's day three, and today we're gonna to be talking about paperwork. Um, this is a dreaded subject for a lot of people, but I promise you once again, it um, does definitely feed your soul on a more positive note when you've gone through that paperwork. So I'm gonna answer a couple questions that I had about the topic yesterday, which was the bathroom cabinets, um, your drawers, the linen closet, and your shower. So um, I had comments of people um, being very hesitant to get rid of some things. And I'm gonna call it what it is, you guys. You know I don't like to sugarcoat things. Like I said, if it aligns, you know, do something with it. If not, it's okay to not think about it and to keep making excuses for why you hold on to things. There's nothing wrong with it. And I say excuses because of the following things I'm gonna share with you. I had a couple people reach out and say, well, I have a whole bunch of perfumes. Um, they were really expensive perfumes, very expensive hair products. And I understand that at one point, money was invested, right, in these products. I always think about um, square footage, space, because it's very, very common that we think if we have something that's valuable or that costs something at one time, that we have to just hold on to it. And I get the whole logic behind it, right? I totally do. But here is something I wanna also have you um, think about while you're doing that. Um, at one point, when we do make the investments that we do, I am a firm believer that things serve their purpose. If somebody felt the need, if I felt the need to buy something expensive at the time and I used it for however long and then I stopped using it for whatever reason, it already paid off an investment, right? And we can sit down and look at numbers or whatever, but I want you to just kind of think about why you had it, how long you had it for, how long it served you, and then is it serving you now? That's kind of what I want everybody to look at. It could be perfumes, it could be hair products, it could be very expensive curling irons. So if you want to, like I had mentioned, take out what you guys do want and you actually do use, and then everything else kind of look at. You can sell it, you can gift it, you could do whatever you want with it, but don't get stuck on what do I do with it? I spend so much money. Just know that the money that you invested has already come back to you in quite a few different ways. And you might want to sit with each product and ask it, okay, what did I do? How did I benefit from having this? Am I okay to let go of it? And even if you have emotions, it's okay, you guys. That's what it's for. You're actually supposed to have emotions when you get rid of things. So it's completely normal to do that. It's whether or not you're going to allow those emotions to prevent you from moving forward or if you're going to, you know, continue to allow it to take up space. Um, I'm going to share a little story. A couple months ago, a few months ago, uh, I opened up a holistic center. A lot of you know, I had a crystal shop. I mean, the works. And I want to say like last month or the month before, I had been asked to like leave the crystal shop alone. It was causing me a lot of, I don't want to say stress because it was a labor of love, but I found myself, my time being consumed on like one project, one big project. And I was being called to do a whole bunch of other projects. Oh, I can't travel because I got to do this. Or I got to have my employees do that. And I got to make sure that. And I just found out that it was taking up space, literally square footage, which equaled a lot of my time and energy. And I loved every minute of it, but I was called to like, stop doing that because your energy needs to be served in travel. It needs to be served in um, different services, workshops, and mentoring other business owners and helping other healing practitioners. And I'm like, but I just started this and I invested so much money. And, you know, I had my moments, um, kind of, kind of sort of still do. But what's funny is just this, today, you can hear an echo because I'm in an empty front room where I, I located my new office. And that's another story, but... Um, my drawers here are one part of my office and that's why paperwork was coming in so strongly. So again, I do, um, I am lucky that I do go through a lot of my paperwork every couple months to make sure what do I need. If I absolutely need it, I scan it. Um, if I need to have a material, a paper copy, a physical copy of it, I do, but I try to keep track of those things. We get mail like crazy and a bunch of other stuff. So I'll come back to that in a second. Um, so I'm overwhelmed, right? Like now I have to like move offices. I'm moving people around. Like I'm in a 12 square, 1200 square foot like uh, building and I have other people renting certain parts. And it's just, it's, it's not a hot mess, but there's a lot going on. So I got basically messages to go 100% online. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so a month prior to that, I started emptying my house and I did not know why. 
I my front room was empty. I had like one cabinet there with nothing in it, but for some reason I held onto the cabinet and the living room was just uh, empty. And I'm like, I don't understand, but I kept feeling the need to have to empty it. So fast forward, this stuff is happening. I'm being called to go online. Hi, good evening. Um, I'm being called to go online, all this stuff. And today I'm at the office. We have massive sales. We have inventory flying off the shelf. So I started consolidating a lot of our stuff. And my husband went and picked up displays and all kinds of stuff. So it was like a nice organized, a little bit of chaos. But I thought about it like, oh my gosh, like I have all this space, but I don't want to keep everything. If I wanted to, I can welcome many things, but I didn't want to do it. I wanted to go to another home, to somebody else who needs it, who we can serve. However, I could have very easily fit everything in my empty space. Um, but I'm asked to kind of hold because something else is coming. I'm like, fine. Sometimes we don't know what it is and that's okay. But if you start connecting more within yourself, you will get messages as, as to what that is. And whenever that time is, you're going to be ready to receive because you've already made space for it, right? Whatever that is. So now I'm actually taking care of my home office. I have a whole big old empty front room um, where I'm going to be working, collaborating with other people. So I literally have an office somewhere else and I have an office here. So how that worked, I don't know, but it, it worked, right? And again, many things haven't been revealed to me yet. But I am trusting the process, although it is a little scary because it is unknown. Um, I also know that because I'm going to continue to prep, I'm going to I'm going to be OK. And that's what I want to share with you guys. A little bit of a story to help kind of comfort you guys in times of the unknown. Right. And it happens differently for all of us for, for various different reasons. So back to paperwork. So that's something I wanted to share about the cabinets, the linens. Oh, my mother gave me this blanket. My grandmother. That's fine. Think about how much you need and think about how much you can give somebody else or allow it to go to somebody else's home to bless them. If you invested a lot of money in it, I totally get it. I totally get it. I really do think that everything I've ever invested money in is not a loss. At first, I thought it was. I had a hard time wrapping my head around it. But now I look at it as I'm paying for the school of life. And that has taught me more than money can buy. So every time I invest and I feel like I have to hold on to it because it was pricey or I invested so, so much and this person's involved and they invested, it's like everything we already did has either already come back to us or will come back to us eventually. So try not to hold on to things if you don't have to hold on to them. The more emotional items, um, that's also something I can help you along the way heal up while you're releasing. Okay, so some things are easier to let go than others. And I'm, I'm totally aware of that. Okay, paperwork, the dreaded paperwork. It seems like it never ends. Many of us um, in the past, I know I did, just kind of shove paperwork in a bag or I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And the later would not come for um, a very long time. So things were piling up, junk mail, stuff that was important. Like sometimes I'll glance at it, oh, I'll take care of it later. And again, the later has a hard time coming around. So I want to encourage you guys to take one drawer at a time, one folder at a time, one paper at a time, but you need to sit and deal with the paperwork. Why? Because there's new things coming in once again. Why paperwork? Because it's something that tends to pile up very quickly. Um, there have been many people that have gone through this process and their poor shredder dies on them. And then it's like, oh, it heats up, it's full, it makes a mess. And we just kind of make excuses for stopping the process and just not continuing to do that. So I say this, um, do get a bin, box bin or whatever, and you could put all the recyclable junk mail in that one, okay? Get another bin, bag or whatever you want, and put everything that would need to be shredded with your personal information in that one, okay? And then stuff that you can just file away, put it in another pile. If you grab one at a time and say, oh, this one I'm gonna put in the file, this one I'm gonna, when you do that, it takes you longer. So kind of go through each paper without getting up and have three piles. Recyclable, things I need to shred and things I need to um, actually put in a folder whether it's an, a digital folder or an actual, you know, cabinet, okay? So once you sit and you have that, you're not getting up and getting distracted and have too many tabs open. That's why many people don't finish. They get up and they start doing things or they start with the shredder and now they've opened up all these things and nothing gets completed. So there is a strategy to all of this, you guys. There is structure to make sure that you're feeling successful. So when you're done sorting through all your piles, Right, you're gonna you're gonna get up and take the recyclable bin, the recyclable 
box with all that stuff in it, take it to your recycle bin, okay? What you're gonna do with the middle one is save it for later, right? This is all the stuff you have to shred. I want you then to stop and look at the pile of all the things that you have to file and start organizing them. Home, home insurance, any credit card statements or whatever those are, utilities, put, put them in piles and then put them off to the side. Now you're gonna get up and grab your to shred paperwork and you're going to go outside and have a bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> Those are always fun. The weather's perfect. So a lot of people may not have a bonfire or a pit or whatever. Use your barbecue grill. Um, I don't encourage you to use lighter fluid. So just get a couple of papers and light them up and ignite the rest of them. Make sure it's not a windy day because you will have ashes flying everywhere. And just keep an eye on it and say goodbye and thank you and all that good stuff, whatever. And um, if you'd rather use the shredder, that's fine. But I'm like, burn it, just burn it. No one's gonna see it. You don't have to shred it, deal with the mess, deal with everything heating up so we can have more excuses to delay getting the paperwork done. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, those are like tips and tricks that I've used in the past for myself, for clients. I had a lot of clients in the past that were business owners and had all this paperwork and it was so overwhelming and they would stack up things to shred or call companies and then they would have to wait. And I just remember all the chaos when it came to paperwork. When you're looking for something, do you know where it is? Okay, I have to get my most recent utility bill. And this is another thing, if any of you can, if you're okay with it, start getting things like um, auto pay, get more things through your email and then organize folders and have everything there. So if you ever need a copy of anything, you just tap into the folder and you grab it and you can always make a copy or scan it from there and take a picture and send it to whoever you need to. So there's a whole bunch of options. I have very little paperwork because again, a lot I scan or I keep email, I have like direct pay or whatever, then I don't have to deal with stuff coming. The junk mail seems to never stop. So if anybody knows of a tip and trick to like tell the post office to stop sending me stuff, I think I had heard you could do something like that. I don't know. But if you do know that trick, please share it with me because I would love to not have to receive those things. So anything that you would need to have mailed from work, from your bank, from your car loans, from your mortgage, insurance, um, credit card statements, you name it, you guys. Everybody's going more paperless. It's great for you know the environment. It's great for you because you can kind of keep things a little more structured and don't have to worry about the extra paperwork. Okay. So if any of you are those that have those bags full of paperwork, if anybody's just kind of throwing things in your drawer, make sure to make some time for you to sit down and deal with what paperwork you have. Yes, I said deal with it because it's not fun for everybody and you're probably not going to feel motivated. So I'm going to encourage you to do it because motivation doesn't always come prior to, but it does follow once you're into it. Look at your schedule. Talk to your family, see if anybody can help you. Schedule time to get it done. Even if you do a little bit at a time, you guys tackle that paperwork, okay? If you guys have any questions or any tips and tricks for anybody else, uh, please let me know. Oh, and someone also asked about the shampoo bottles and everything. There are on Amazon and I'm sure other places, dispensers. I have one in my shower and you just kind of stick it with like double-sided, like those command strips, very strong. And you could put shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So uh, there's a tip. There's tools for everything, you guys. Thanks again so much for being with me tonight. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. We'll see you soon.